In the scorching Texas summer, when the unforgiving heat makes fishing during the day challenging, our group of anglers embarked on an exciting night fishing expedition. Our determination to catch elusive speckled trout led us to the darkness of night. Our decision to do some night fishing was backed by solid reasons. Firstly, the absence of the scorching sun created a cooler environment in the water, enticing cold-blooded fish to feed more actively. Secondly, speckled trout spawn during the summertime and prefer high salinity levels and sandy areas with moving water. And finally, the strategic use of lights attracts a multitude of bait fish, which lure the predator fish in for an easy snack. Our journey began on a late August evening as the sun began to set. Arriving at the jetty around 8 o'clock, we faced a surprising crowd of fellow anglers, but our determination remained unwavering and we continued to our fishing spot all the same. Unfortunately, our favorite spot was already taken, forcing us to adapt and set up where we could. Undeterred, we wasted no time and promptly set up our lights to call on the fish. As the clock ticked past 9.30, our real challenge began. Due to our late arrival at the jetty, there were no shrimp at any of the bait shops, so all we had at our disposal were artificial plastic lures. You're getting them right at the rocks, huh? Yeah, right here. You want to toss them up to me and I can hold them for you? Oh my god. That's okay. Dude. He's a nice keeper. Wow. He was literally barely hooked then. Yeah. He just literally, I had tension and everything. He just shook it. Wow, guys. Grab that net and pull it right here next to us. Just because I can net job or you can net job. <laughs> Ribbon fish for sure. Yeah. Maybe not. Skinny trout, skinny trout. We persisted, casting our lines into the darkness. The night proved to be tough, with only a few fish biting and many unwilling to commit to our lures. This struggle would continue for close to six hours, switching every single lure we had in the box and trying everything we could to entice these fish to bite. At around one o'clock in the morning, we noticed that a lot of the anglers there at the jetty had begun to clear out. This prompted us to move our light setup over a couple of yards to our favorite fishing spot in hopes of making something happen with the trout. After another hour and a half worth of fishing and a bunch of jig heads lost to the rocks, I had begun to lose my patience. I wanted nothing more than just to catch a singular trout, but all I could manage to hook up on was rocks. Not only was I missing my mark, but I was losing tackle in the process. This is what I had to say about it. Cause they're not eating plastic right now. No, and I'm at my wits end. I'm throwing a hundred hooks to the rocks. Pardon my French gentlemen, but this is just absurd. You gotta understand. Let me put you in the mindset of a true fisherman right now, dude. Listen up. It's been three days going on four now, actually five because it's the fifth day. Technically it's 3.30 in the morning. My alarm when I would usually wake up to go hit the marsh just went off. I'm pretty tired. I was honestly sitting here closing my eyes every cast, just kind of retrieving with my eyes closed, getting a little bit of rest. So I'm not leaving this freaking jetty until I catch a trout. I've casted like a buttload of hooks, broken off on the rocks. This latest break off was insane, dude. My The wind wrapped around my, my line around my rod. I go to set the hook. Bada boom, it's gone. Goner, bye bye. Aaron Hernandez, gone forever. Straight to the rocks, bro. I'm over it. I'm getting pissed. I'm freaking pissed, bro. This is gonna be my fifth day of not catching fish. That's insanity. Five days of not catching fish? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna retie. My pops is gonna try and cast net some live bait because there are trout everywhere. They're chasing lures down. They are just not committing. They look, they're like, nah. All right, I got it all out. 
I got it all out. I'm gonna put some cool music in the background for that rant. We're gonna have some B-roll, and I'm about to catch a freaking trout, dude. At around 3 a.m., the sight of numerous fish congregating around the light gave us hope. But these cunning creatures remained elusive, teasing us without taking the bait. After we couldn't take it anymore, we decided to change our approach and opted to cast net some finger mullet for live bait. Unfortunately, when we were finally able to get on some fish using the finger mullet, my GoPro mic would mess up on me. So for the following clips, I'm going to be using music and what little audio I can salvage in order to show you our night of fishing. Let's go. Please, please, just the trout, just the trout is all the boy needs. Plug. I mean, good heavens, thank the stars and the Lord up above. That's a speckled trout. I can't even believe it, but that's a speckled trout on the last mullet in the freaking ice box through every lure that we had in the freaking arsenal everything we could think of nothing wanted to work casting out some mullet and finally gents my first fish in four days five days now technically speaking let's hurry up and get this guy undone i'm not sure he's, if he's gonna keep it looks a bit small but hey, it's something, baby. Finally, our perseverance had paid off as we managed to catch some fish with live bait. As the sun began to rise, our hard work had finally paid off, and we secured close to a four-man limit, ending the night with a triumphant and successful trip. We would go on to catch a ton of trout that night and ended up just three fish shy of a four-man limit. Sadly, like I said, all of the audio was unusable, so I'll just go ahead and play out the rest of these clips montage style with the music. But at the end of the day, it was an incredible trip we didn't only get on a ton of fish, but we were also able to catch a bunch of quality ones and even helped to put Brian on his new PB. And before we go, I would like to thank everyone for sticking around to this point in the video. I really appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're dropping new videos every Monday. And also hit the like button and comment down below what you want to see next. Thanks again, and y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.